So we're going to rewrite a log expression. This is a 2 log x minus 3 log x squared plus 1 plus 3 log x minus 1 as a single logarithm a. And I went and grabbed everything we need from the textbook. So how in the world did I find that? Well, I know we're in the 1.5 section. That's where the problem came from. So if you click on 1.5, you'll get to here, and you just have to scroll down, and I'm looking for formulas that let me turn sums and differences of logs. These are exponentials, not logs. So I'm gonna keep scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Go, 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 there we go. So that's where it came from right there. So it turns the sum of a log into a single log, or the difference of a log, into a log of fractions. So that's where all these formulas came from. And let's get back to here. So we have all everything we need on this page. It's nice to rewrite what you need right here. We don't actually need the last one. We do have an exponent here. However, uh, the only way I could apply this last rule, oh, we will need a last rule, okay. So let's go ahead, we'll do these one at a time. Two log x minus three log x squared plus one plus three log x minus one. All right, so we wanna rewrite this. Okay, so we're gonna use, we're gonna start right there that I underlined r so the number r times log, now there's no base on these, there's an invisible base 10 on all these, and we don't need to write that. But the way, good way to think about this, this r coefficient becomes an exponent right there. And you can see it, a to the r right there. So our first one is log of, this 2 becomes an exponent, log of x squared. All right, next up, this three is gonna become an exponent to the entire expression x squared plus one. So we'll use a second parentheses to group, plus the exact same thing happening here, except x plus one is gonna be cubed now, or x minus one. All right, so we've gotten rid of the coefficients, turned them into exponents. The next thing we're going to do is the sum and difference properties. So let's look at the first one right here. We have a difference, and that second line is what we're starting with, and what it turns into is a single log where A divided by C, where the first uh, inside part is divided by the second inside part. So that's x squared divided by x squared plus one cubed plus log x minus one cubed. All right, we're almost done. Last property we're gonna use is at the first one here. And if you have log plus another log, that's a product inside. So we have a log plus another log and again, we're not writing the base 10 here. So we have x squared over x squared plus one cubed. Now we have a product in here, so I'll use some extra parentheses, times x minus one cubed. You could extra parenthesize if you want to, but those are not necessary. From here, you could just leave your answer like this, totally fine, or you could multiply your fractions. You would put this one over one. So the denominators, nothing would happen to the denominator. It would just be log of x squared plus one cubed in the denominator, because that's multiplied by the one right there. The numerator, we have an x squared times x minus one cubed. And that would be your single rewritten as a single log.